has all season one earned in his last 14, and Maddox, hey, we're going K-Zone. That's called a ball. And Greg says something smells bad in here. Change up called the ball. He walks Luis Gonzalez, and he ain't happy. He wanted the corner, so he blows something. A gasket, perhaps? Tony Randazzo. That's how I feel, Tony. And then Bobby Cox says, yeah, I smell it, too. Tossed. Bottom three, Maddox against Junior Spivey, and someone's going large on him. Junior's fourth. D-backs go up three to one. Three to one. Next batter is Luis Gonzalez. Greg, no, and he knows where that K-zone is. He's coming right back in it. Uh-oh. Seventh career homer against Maddox, second most of any player. Oh, who's the first? Barry Bonds. Top six, Elmer Dessens facing Andrew Jones. Ding dong, pitch dead. Eighth for Jones. Braves got it to 4-3. Andrew already with 31 ribeye steaks. We like those medium rare. 4-4 four, four extras for Cal. Trouble. Mark Grace got it. That's one of those you may want to let drop because of that potential problem. We're bragging about that. Castilla's in. 7-4. Braves take care of the D-backs. Phillies Padres first two of the series went 10 innings top first Jim Tome facing Adam Eaton the first pitch we got a little K-zone here as well there it is a little outside but blue says strike wide yeah that was the right end next pitch more K-zone perhaps a tad low oh and two Tome not happy third base coach John Vukovic also thinks perhaps that's a bit of a malodorous call so he's going to argue up gentle at first move more later and then eventually go away Vukovic you're out three pitches later Tomei lacing a single. So it was over not. He got it through the big hole there. Blew it right through on the left side of the infield. Jimmy Rollins will score one up. Randy Wolf, excellent stuff it says here. Facing Rondell White in the first. Ooh, strike. Mark Kotze, he's a dove bar. Brian Buchanan in the fourth. Blows him away. Wolf, five Ks, first four innings. Six innings pick, six Ks, one earned run. Then top five, same score. Man on is Adam. Eaton faces Placido Polanco. Blanco laces a double to right. That was a late scoring change in the shot sheet. Originally, we had it going to left. Randy Wolf scores. Phils win it. 3 1 0. Happy. The Giants of San Francisco had won all but four of their games. Felipe Alou was already manager of the year. The G in Brian Sabian's GM world stood for genius. Then they go to Philadelphia. 10-2 San Francisco loss, followed by a no-hitter. Giants come home, get put to sleep by that Cubs pitching. You know the old saying, too. You can't hit what you can't see. And truth be told, Richard really, his eyes were so bad after the Saturday's 0-5 game, he had him checked. Add a little liquid, and, you know, Sunday he saw that statue beautifully. The Willie McCovey statue presented. Barry Bonds had the day off. The sun was shining. Bottom one, Rich Aurelia's vision is now 2020. Right up the middle it goes. Rich Aurelia follows the 0-5-er with a 4-for-4 game. Giants up one zip. In case you didn't see it Saturday, we debuted the star ball boy, or ball man, Dick Gregory. This is his effort on Saturday. The big cat, and he is all under it. Okay. He got right back up, though, and he came back fighting. We switched his position to the first base side, and there's Dick Gregory again. He has mastered that. If only that were water, it'd be a terrific dive. Still bottom five, one nothing. Edgardo Alfonso just leaving. He's batting third. He says he actually turned his brain off. Started, stopped thinking so much. His third home run of the year, four zip. Bases loaded, Nate Perez pinch hitting in the bottom of the sixth. Deep to left. How about the arm of Jose Guillen? Check out this throw. Airborne. Santiago scores from third, but what an arm. Kirk Reeder's now 10 and one in his career. Against the Reds, he gets the win. Rockies Cubs, it's gone final. Dusty Baker's Cubs facing the Rocks at Wrigley this time. Top third, Rocks lead 3-2. Larry Walker, fly ball, Moises and Lou. He's back and got it into the Ivy. Be a little easier when you hit that Ivy later in the summer when it's growing out. Preston Wilson easily doubled off at second. Nice play by Alou. Top six bases are chucked for Todd Helton. Kerry Wood is Helton to foul out. He saw Choi going to go over and grab that one. Wood, eight and two all time against the Rocks. He is out of that jam. Hey, we're going to flash back last year's World Series. You may never have seen this before. We we'll went and renew it for you. Little Darren. Baker, the bad boy saved by J.T. Snow during Game 5 of the World Series. Hey, Sonny, so you can take me out of the ball game. You go, boy.
was a proud papa too, wasn't it? Hit the ball. First comes batter, Ramon Martinez. Hey, the Baker thing works. First of the year. The tied at four game, we're going to extra innings. Bottom 10, tied at four. Alex Gonzalez, pinch hit, home run. Let's eat, the buffet is open. That landed his second game winning homer in four days. Cubs, 5-4, they scored some You started talking like him. Did you? The Red Sox are really feeling good about themselves after Pedro's complete game, and this will screw any team up. Throw Tim Wakefield next. Nine and two, three nine nine career ERA against the Twins. Todd Sears flies out. Johnny Damon, we're going to challenge that arm. Good challenge. Koski safe. Look at Wakefield backing up the uh, catcher Doug Mirabelli. So we throw down a second. Who's at second? Kevin Millar. Well, who's at first? Wakefield's at home. I, I think he's going to get back there in time. Twins down a run. Four three. Next batter, Tim Wakefield. Mike Kadire. Oh, that stung. That's fair. And just like that, a 4-1 lead has disappeared. It's 4-4. We're not even in the bullpen yet. <laughs> Top seven. Minnesota's up 6-4. And Nomar's throw on that relay goes into the uh, hot dog vendors. Jason Shell, Torrey Hunter, Shea Hillenbrad. He's got it. He's coming home. Oh, boy. <laughs> Twins up 7-4. 19 men to the plate in that six for Minnesota. They go on to win 9-4. Mariners, White Sox, ESPN Sunday Night Baseball, and a chance of rain in the forecast. John Miller, Joe Morgan getting the complimentary oh, yeah. home team ponchos to keep dry. Those are nice. Bottom oh, said, I ain't putting that on. <laughs> no way. Oh, score first and third. Gil Mesh gets Frank Thomas, and Frank's going to be angry about this, but he ain't alone. Mesh, 26 and the third innings without giving up an earned run. Next batter, Megler Ordonez, flying a short right. Each will come in, got that. D'Angelo Jimenez thinks he's going to score. Yeah, think again. Get a run. Well, Carl Lewis wouldn't have scored. Good peg by Ichiro. Top third. Ichiro with the bases empty and two outs. Two oh, out hits will get you to heaven. That's going to go all the way into some empty seats. Ichiro's second homer, one nothing in favor. The Mariners. Now the rain coming out a little bit harder. Clean up the camera. And well, Miller, he's actually sporting the poncho. Yeah. Get a gift. You want to wear that? That's nice. Top third, Brett Boone. Deep center, started towards deep center. Willie Harris decides maybe he'd like to go over to the left to finally retrieve that. Win will do some crazy things with the pearl when he gets up there. Bottom third, Mariners won nothing. Harris pops it up. Now Jeff Cirillo's turn. It is the Windy City, you know. That'll bring rain right there. Ooh, and it did plenty of it. Every ball's an adventure in Chicago. John, how's that poncho treat you now in the weather? And I want the rain to stop. I'm tired of wearing this little slicker. I'm, I'm tired of that. I don't want to wear it anymore. I'm tired of wearing a slicker, and you look like... You're looking pretty smooth. Joe Morgan, Hall of Famer, smart dresser. Edgar Martinez, 2,000 hits, reached that mark earlier in the week, and that would be a home run of Bartolo Colon, his fourth homer. Rain going to shorten this thing to five. Mariners win at 5-1. It's the first time the M's have swept a three-game series in Chicago since 1978. Roger and Barry, six-time winner, one-time winner, and Scott Hattieberg, good hitter, resident comedian. It's Cy Young against Cy Old, Clemens 40, Zito 25. Top one, Hattieberg, one for 11 in his career against the Rocket. Oh, we have liftoff. Oops, Rocket gives up this one. Hattieberg's third home run, one nothing A's. Bottom four, they got a two-love cushion. Runner on second and third, one out. Hideki Matsui's at the plate. Barry Zito inducing a lot of ground balls. He's got it. He's coming home, but nobody else is. Mark Johnson then throws down a second. Giambi's done. Barry, what's up, my man? I was thinking he was breaking on contact, and usually what you do is you look at him, and then you give it up to the you know, guy at home. In this case, I just, you know, forego looking at him and get it home, but he was like five feet off the base. He was, he was, uh, just whatever. I don't know. Thank God we got now. Yeah. Executed beautifully. Next batter for Zito is Raul Mondesi. Hitting Raul this year. Down looking. Out. Zito out of it. Yanks had their chances. They strand seven. Bottom seven. Bubba Trammell. Ding dong. Left field. Eric Burns runs into walls and anything else it takes to catch this thing and he does. Runners don't tag. Stay on first and second. John Flaherty, you're next to face Zito. Eric Chavez there. Turns. Five, four, three. Barry. That's the base to throw to. Way to go. Bottom eight, Jason Giambi. One on, two out. Zito. This is filthy. Giambi didn't think that thing was in the zone. 0 for 3, 2Ks, ninth inning. Keith Folk, he's your closer. He's getting ready. Flashback to Saturday when Jason Giambi did this against Folk. Put a dent in the facade. 
Well, the A's brought Folk back. They got the win Saturday. They bring him back on Sunday. Hideki Matsui, right center field. Chris Singleton yelling, I got it. Terrence Long used to playing center. And uh-oh, nearly ran through his man. Oakland wins two zip. Yanks first series loss this season. Zito, five and two. Tejada had two of Oakland's four hits. Well, despite that 270 ERA at home, the Yanks have lost all three of Clemens Yankee Stadium starts this year. The key factor, they scored one run by the offense in those outings. Clemens 4-0 and four road starts where he's getting nine and a half per game. For nobody out, Joe Randa pops foul, Jeff Conine making the nice diving catch. Top five, we got more defense. We got two outs, the Royals still up one nothing. Desi Relliford this time, deep to left, Melvin Mora. He's back there, he has Leaping ability, saves the home run. Robin Relliford, bottom five, no outs. Orioles down one nothing. Brooke Fordyce deep, oh, and here comes Relliford to get some of his own. He makes the running catch. Royals and Orioles, bring a, bring a glove or just stay home. Top seven, not again. Jerry Harrison, nice play to get Raul Banez. We call those web gems, I believe, Ravi. Top nine, two outs, two on, two nothing. Royals, Carlos Fables gets one that well, that's down. Royals to win this thing four to nothing. Abanez Relaford will score, so they finish up the trip three and six, head back to Kansas City. Johnny, the defending world champs in danger of being swept out of Toronto and into last in the West. Bases loaded, two outs, bottom four. Vernon Wells, he went granny Saturday, and he gets walked by Ramon Ortiz. Forced in a run. Who's better than Vernon Wells, who's got 31 RBIs on the season? Oh, it's Carlos Delgado. He doubles to left center. He's got 34 stakes this year. Delgado and Wells are 1-2 in the league in RBI. 6-2 Jays. Bottom five, Frank Catalanato. He's playing every day. All players say if you play every day, you play better. Adam Kennedy fields, fires. Nice barehanded catch, but everybody's safe. The Jays, 8-9 hitters, 5 for 8, 4 runs. They had a closed door meeting after this one to the Angels. It wasn't pretty. Sam into third. His hit streak is snapped. He had hit in 20 straight. Angels lose 8-2. Hello, basement in the West. On the homestand, beating up pitchers to the tune of a 42-14 advantage through five. Looking to extend their winning streak to seven, and they got five players belting over 300. Jimmy Edmonds lead the league with a 405 average, and they rank one, two, three in the National League in batting average. You get some pitching with this team, they may win some games. We picked this thing up in the bottom of the second. Bagels are hung on the board, and not anymore. Frank Torrea goes to right center. Tito Martinez quietly having a very good season. He scores, one nothing cards. Frank Torrea is leading the team, 26 ribeyes. Mike Matheny. Basket, you don't want to go up with that bare hand. Renteria scores, 2-0, Cardinals. In the bottom of the third, same score, one on, one out. Jimmy Edmonds, it's trouble every time he swings the bat. About face, Albert Pujols will touch second. He's going to touch third, and even with Vladimir throwing it in, he scores, 3-0. Edmonds improves that league-leading batting average, and whoa, we are bunched up tight with Cardinals. Careful, uh-oh, Kung Pao. Scott Rowland, a two-run home run to right. Log on. Rowland, six of the season. Five-nothing Cardinals. That's another Cardinal win. Six-twos. They sweep the homestand. Pirates, Dodgers, on your mark. Get set, go. This game time, one hour, 55 minutes. Thanks for coming. Jeff D'Amico facing Dave Roberts. There's a shot. Kenny Lofton getting back and protecting D'Amico's Cy Young chances. Well done there. Ken Brown had one consecutive game since September of 2001. About to change that on Sunday. Brown scrambling there off the bat of match stairs. Got him. Brown, eight innings, one earned run, four hits, had four strikeouts. Bottom seven, D'Amico. Oh, that, well, that all around just didn't go so well. Alex Cora comes home from third, gets it. Lloyd McClendon gets angry, doesn't agree. Eric Gagne comes in, hasn't allowed and run yet. Well, there finally it goes. Trying to turn it, Adrian Beltre, not in time. Jason Kendall scores three, two Dodgers. Gagne's first run of the season, but he's had enough of that. Matt Stairs. Get up. Brown gets to win 3 2, 10 save for Gagne, 10 1 ratio. They'll take that certainly. A lot of people take a minute, 50, hour 55. Yep. Late arriving and early leaving, they didn't see anything. Mets and the Brewers, this is not a beauty contest the way they played. Mike Kinney starting from Milwaukee, looking for his third straight decision for the first time in his career and looking for a win, but he walks Piazza. Base is loaded, Cliff Floyd. And then again, this may not be the worst thing for the old Brew Crew because, as you see, the lowest career batting average, space is low to the active players. Uh-oh, Cliffy's right at the top of that list, but he's now the cleanup hitter. He has never been there before. And guess what? He cleans up. Woo! 
Straightaway center. Mets a grand slam, 4-2 lead. Third career, Granny. Four for 11 in the series. He's going to stay in the number. Okay, Kurt, that's not going to help keep the ball in the park. Laskanik, Tony Clark to left. Jeff Jenkins into the pool. Got it. Clark went 0 for 3. Only Piazza is hitting over 300 for the Mets. Only Mike Piazza. That's a face plant. Two batters later, base is loaded. Laskanik facing Timonial Perez. Forces in a run. Mets go on to win 5-3. Laskanik not happy, but it is a happy recap for the Mets. Kinney walked 4. Laskanik walked 3. Marlins Astros. Everybody practice laying down those bunts before you get in the cage. We'll get to that in a bit. First bottom four, two outs. Richard Hidalgo. That is really far, doggy. Part of a three for three day, two RBIs, his fifth homer of the year. Astros up 2 1. Juan Pierre going to go one better. Lines it to right. Mike Redman will score. We're tied at two. Pierre four for four. His first four hit game as a Marlin. Well struck. Bottom eight. Two's on the board. Morgan Edsberg, squeeze play. There it goes. Brad Osmus in to score. Astros up 3 2. Angsbert said he hadn't had to squeeze it since high school. A lot of us could say that, I'm sure. Top five, top nine, Astros up 5 2. You see Gerald Williams, 100 mile an hour fastball from Billy Wagner, no chance. And then Wagner pulls a string on it. That one's just 99. Yes! Wagner's sixth save. Astros win it by count of five. Astros GM Jerry Hunsicker said he will either trade shortstop Julio Lugo or release him in the coming days. Lugo charged with misdemeanor assault for allegedly attacking his wife at Minute Maid Park before Wednesday's game. The team immediately designated Lugo for assignment, meaning they could ship him down to the minors, but Hunsicker says they've pretty much eliminated that possibility. Difference. See, the socks are high. Michael Young, Omar Vizquel. We like to show you things you don't see every day here at Sports Center, and that's one of them. And Same inning in Tribe is up three to one. Alex Rodriguez from one shortstop to another. This would be considered a web jump. That's a little redemption. Top nine Indians up three to one. Three to one. Runner on first. Dennis Baez, Juan Gonzalez, and a rare over for Juan. Over four. Still top nine. Buck goes to a pretty good bat. He's got sitting on that bench. Rafael Palmero, 498 career home runs. He won't get 499 there. Ground out to Casey Blake at first. Try pride. They win 3 1. CC Sabathia's first win. Eight innings, four hits, no earned. And he's got those high socks working. Double race Tigers, and I smell win number four for Detroit. Uh, it's just a feeling. Jeremy Bonderman facing Toby Hall. Well, this can't help. Two run shot as third D rays go up 2 1. Bonderman, who has one of the Tigers' three wins. Top third, same score. Runner on second as Bonderman faces Aubrey Huff. Well, Aubrey gets some good wood going the other way, but Craig Monroe, whew, lucky no fan interference there. Robs him with a home run. Monroe, nice work. Had a big three run jack on Saturday. Then the offense cranks up Carlos Pena off Jorge Sosa. Carl Crawford will not get Whoa. that one. Pena's third homer. Tigers explode for seven runs. Biggest offensive output of the year. 4-25.